my name is Ralph Noll. I'm the CEO and founder of InOptech. It stands for Innovation Optics and Technology. My background is physics. I'm a physicist. I also studied electronics. So I bring everything together to the biological uh, scene now. And the subtitle is Peak Performance. But I will also talk a little bit about the health aspects. Um, for more than 200,000 years of human evolution, our visual system is only trained and built for walking speeds. You have to remember this, walking speeds. And when I mean visual system, I mean everything. The human eye and the whole nervous system, including the optical cortex. Are our eyes still suitable for us? So postmodern humans travel faster than walking speeds. As you can see, we have wheels and wings, motorcycles. We travel, of course, faster than walking speeds. Imagine traveling fast from sunlight into a dark tunnel. So our biological heritage is now a problem in this scenario. The pupillary response is far too slow under rapidly changing light conditions. So if you run into this dark tunnel or into this shady area with your motorbike or mountain bike or whatever, then the iris opens in only 30 seconds. Can you imagine 30 seconds? That is super slow. So you are in big trouble when you run into dark areas. Our evolutionary heritage <laughs> causes us visual perception problems under challenging light conditions, which leads to wrong decisions and wrong actions, less performance, more accidents. Believe it or not, we have to face 10% of fatal accidents on roads only due to impaired vision. This is a really high number. The number is even higher in Canada where the sun is deep. It goes up to 40% in the States, depending on where you are. So we need to solve this problem. We need a solution. We need to biohack our visual system. And when I say need, I mean there is no option if you want to become a postmodern human. You get it? That's why I'm wearing here this message, give yourself an upgrade with the human plus. It means if you are really traveling fast, you need to have something for this situation. Imagine you were immune to rapidly changing light conditions or glare from deep standing sun or headlights coming towards you in traffic. So... In OPTEC, uh, there's something wrong, developed the world's first uh, transhuman vision enhancement system. Um, day or night, it can ensure perfect vision for first peak performance, this is the topic here, safety for everyone, and third, health improvements or recovery. Some people of you might have migraine or they are light sensitive. Uh, in the General public, it was showcased, so we had certified, uh, uh, we had very good feedback. Um, we have some functional models. Um, these are just uh, prototypes, so they are a little bit bulky, but they work quite nicely, actually. You can um, um, test them upstairs in the exhibition area. And here with a mobile app, I can set the set point, how dark it should be, etc. So we have a design challenge as a startup. We don't want to do any cyberpunk stuff. So what we really want to do is a fashionable, sexy device. Um, so no image converters with cameras and displays in the head. This is too, this is not what we want. We just want to have really fashionable design as indicated in these two pictures. Um, the electronics is then in charge of your eye. Believe it or not, the light, light tight design uh, using black foam enables the electronics to fully control the light towards your eye. And plenty of photosensors 
um, are measuring constantly what is going on outside. So the electronics determines the iris diameter, if you like. So what are the glasses doing at daytime? Um, they react in real time in one millisecond and level out all the variations in illuminance, keeping the illuminance at the eye always constant, like a flat line. Like here in this diagram, it's a flat line. No matter if you go to, uh, through a tunnel or whatever, you can choose your design, you can choose a certain illumination like 400 lux, keep it constant at your eye the whole day, no matter what will happen outside. So here's a little film. Um, in the bottom, you see the human eye. There's too much light right now. The moment you enter the tunnel, you cannot see really anything. The human eye cannot adjust quickly enough to the darkness. And in our, with our system, it's already adapted. And here again, the human eye needs 5 to 30 seconds to adjust in a dark tunnel. And with our system, it's already pre-prepared for the tunnel. So you can see instantly in the dark. This is the trick, basically. Um, okay. Um, yeah, what are the glasses doing at dawn or night? This is a different scenario. Um, in combination with the light source, we let the wanted light, S, which is the signal, through to the eye, whilst blocking off the unwanted light, N. N is a noise. So noise is the sun. Noise could be unwanted light because you have migraine, you don't want to have too much light, but you want to have a light source which, you, which is still visible. So if you have your mobile phone in the sun and you want to really read your messages in the sun, then our system can distinguish between these two kinds of light. So we can distinguish between good light and bad light. <laughs> this is really unique. Um, so the anti-glare system can filter out the glare whilst feeding your eye only with the essentially required information. So, in this context of the Biohacker Summit, we learned a lot about food. Food, feed, it's a little uh, wordplay now. I, I'm claiming here on this event, feed your eyes only with the essentials. <laughs> so, it means don't, you know, you, you have to take in only the light you really want to see. Anything else is not important or is just glare from the sun. And there's a list with conditions in which people are light sensitive. I don't want to go through the whole list, but you're probably aware of migraine, uh, recovery after eye surgery, etc. So apart from the first two things, which I mentioned, safety, peak performance, these are the two key things we are taking care about. You have also these health benefits. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Alf. That was indeed an inspiration. And we, I just want to shoot a question to you as a proper transhumanist. How soon can I implant this stuff in my eyes? Oh, it's not for implant. It's a, a, a wearable tech, like uh, eyewear. For the time being. Eyewear, for the time being. I, I'm, I don't want to implant anything. I think there are big companies out there. They might come up with a contact lens yeah. one day. But it's very difficult to implement so much electronics into a contact lens. It has lots of electronics, lots of software. You can adjust even your eye color, your age, the kind of sport you're doing through the app. And then it will adjust automatically through um, or to the performance parameters you should get. This is fascinating. <laughs> and you're available upstairs. People can try this. Yes, we are upstairs. We have a little stand and people can try it out. It's quite impressive. Great to have you. <laughs> okay, Thanks. Thank Thanks. you as well.